Hi guys, this is Steve on the Guru Brew. I just recently received a machine in and they said that the computer was throwing errors and it was actually not starting and showing blue screens. And I asked them in the initial consultation when I took the computer if anything recently has changed and they indicated to me that they had added more RAM and so my suspicions went off that it could possibly be a hardware problem in fact maybe a hardware problem with the the ram that they purchased so in today's video i am going to take a look at this machine and we're going to go through the steps to determine hardware problems how to detect them and how to fix them if this um, does in fact be the problem so stick with me and we will get started Okay, this is the Dell Dimensions 2400 tower, and it's an older Dell, it has XP on it, but there was thousands of these made, and the chances of you owning one, or if it have owned one, if you bought computers in the past, chances are good you've had one of these. Well, um, an upgrade for the memory's been done and the customer brought it to me about a week ago and said uh, that it had a blue screen and I'm just now uh, testing it out and seeing what the problem is uh, my suspicions were that maybe you know the memory that was put in recently has failed and so I booted it and it, it did boot up and I didn't get a blue screen like he said he did but I did get this uh, recovery error so I'm thinking that possibly there's a security essentials down here too warning me it needs to update and that's only because I don't have the network card plugged in but uh, uh, the first step in trying to figure out what's wrong with this I think what I'm gonna do is um, go ahead and take the case off and remove the memory modules and clean out the slots and put them back and then um, put the uh, ethernet cable back in and do some more testing and see if I can get it to crash so let me get the cover open on this one okay well I've turned down the machine and I've unplugged the power source and I've taken the cover off and I'm just looking down in here at these memory modules and what I'm gonna do is just uh, pull them out here and clean them off and reseat them yeah that's not focusing this is a 512 meg 400 megahertz chip and I think there's one gig in here total And this is also a 512 meg, 400 megahertz chip. So um, this should be fine. They're both DDR2. So what I like to do is just get an alcohol pad and clean up these uh, ends on here. And then put them back in. Now this one was here. So I'm going to change that to this lot instead and just... Uh, you know mix it up a little bit sometimes we just get a bad connection in here and it can do all kinds of nasty things so um, I'm gonna clean those chips up next yeah really it's just a matter of getting one of these alcohol swab pads and you can get a whole box of these things really cheap at the discount stores and I'll clean the pins up on these just to make sure there's no oxidation or anything like that because you know the machine is older and uh, depending on the kind of environment it, it came out of it's possible that there could be some corrosion although you know most of these parts are in gold so unlikely but it never hurts to clean them and you you want to make sure that you uh, thoroughly dry off any alcohol before putting them back in there because you know you don't want anything short now okay I'm gonna put them back in the machine now
Okay, so I just swapped the order. This one needs to be here. This one was here. Well, that's not good at all. That's definitely a memory error sound. So it is possible that we do have a bad chip here. Let me go ahead and uh, reverse the order of these again. Okay, I popped the memory back in there. Let's go ahead and try this again. Well, last time I plugged it in, it immediately started beeping at me, and this time it's not. And you can see we've got power to the motherboard. A lot of times it does matter the order that the, uh, the RAM is in the slots. Um, especially with some of these older machines, um, the closer to the processor is the um, original cards. And then the add-ons uh, typically are away from the processor. Okay, so I have these cards switched back around. No beeps, nothing like that yet. We're ready to try to fire it back up and see what we get. So I guess the lesson here would be if your computer starts beeping, especially after changing something like adding memory or even a video card or add-on that's physically plugged into the motherboard, you should probably check that connection first if you start getting blue screens or like I say beeps or a uh, serious if you get a serious error uh, recovery error in XP that can also mean that there are hardware problems that exist um, that's what I've noticed so you know the machine started right up let's see how much RAM it's reporting now I this machine is seeming like it's quite laggy I hit the start button and it's not um, coming up yet it might just be background programs running or it might be making another um, serious error report I don't know so I'm gonna wait for just a minute and see what happens here it looks like they have Microsoft Security Essentials on this computer because of this logo here I recognize. Looks like a little circus tent and it has a red X on it. So you can see that the uh, the cursor when I put it down on this blue part is an hourglass so that's telling me that it's it's thinking. Now because you know the hard drives got activity on it too now because that this had some sort of an issue doesn't mean it still does just because it's slow at the current time but what it could mean is it's you know just um, re-recording all the settings now that I've put that memory in this slow startup does bother me though and I guess another reason why I'm suspecting memory errors or some other hardware error is because of the source of the computer. Um, I don't know this customer particularly well, but um, from talking to them and getting an idea of what they use this machine for, I don't think that they would probably have a virus. Although, you know, anybody can pick up a virus. so. I'm not going to rule that out. But something's going on in the background to keep this thing from launching. And if you look down here when I'm trying to... I'm fine here and then I put my mouse down here into the into the bar on the bottom and I start getting problems. Let me hit control alt delete and see what happens here. Well, nothing's happened so far. I'm going to wait this out. I am going to 
come back on camera when I get a an error message or something else happens um, so I'm going to record the time is 12.38 uh, p.m. and I'll be back as soon as something happens okay it's a serious lockup because I've been here several minutes waiting and it's still 12.38 so even the onboard time clock's not advancing in the GUI so I am going to have to pull the plug or just do a hard reset I think I'll just go ahead and plug the machine also while I'm doing this I am going to also call it BIOS and reset the BIOS to factory just in case something inside there got changed sometimes a customer will be poking around and not tell me the whole story um, so I think the BIOS on the Dell machines are probably F2, so I'll start tapping at that here as soon as I turn it on. Nope, I missed it. Unplug. I'm also going to try F1 and be a little bit faster. something happened there it's giving me a keyboard fill. okay there we go so here's the bios to the 2400 series Dell dimension and I am looking for a default setting that I can fall back to so I've been looking down through here and the funny thing is is there is no uh, restore to default factory settings for the bios <laughs> um, so I did manage to get some information out of here though in the memory information tag just to verify that we have what I think we do which is 1024 meg of DDR that seems correct it's listing the speed as 3 333 and I know that both of those chips at 400 so I'm kind of wondering about that but maybe they couldn't make the 400 speed so they got dropped down to 333 I'm not sure there's no um, there's no facilities to change it of course so yeah I wished uh, there was a default setting for the bios I unless it's uh, maybe the delete key maybe this is like a pre bios let me try the delete key and start up and see what happens I thought it was up to. That's kind of interesting. It does come up on F2. But there is no um, there's no save setting and there's no default back. So I am going to go ahead and boot normally. I'll be back when it boots. So after I booted it back up, I got the blue screen. It's a stop message, and I'm pretty sure it's RAM related. So I am going to unplug the machine. I am going to take out the, the newest RAM and the reason why I say the newest RAM is because the one that's in there now is considered factory and the factory is probably a higher quality than the than the upgrade so let me just start with that restarting the machine
it's given me a read write failure okay let's unplug the machine again and take this memory out and put in the newer memory so you know it's looking like the original 512 for this Dell may be the um, problem okay I've got the memory pop back on there let's restart so really it's just a process of elimination I I'm trying one you know memory module at a time and just noticing what it says on the screen it looks like it's going to boot fine with this one so it's possible that this memory module is no longer good so I'm gonna finish this boot and you know it's coming up now it's checking for yeah it's got to do some file checking now I've crashed so many times that it wants to check the volume I'm gonna go ahead and let it do the scan disk and I will be back as soon as it's finished okay so the machine started back up I, I still have that uh, the newest memory in its place and I've got the original one out so I should have 512 and I have a uh, system recovery error on the screen which is normal because it, it crashed last time but I'm what I'm looking for is functionality and you know it seems like all the problems that were plaguing this machine are gone I'm gonna right click on my computer here properties so um, yeah there's 512 mega RAM in here um, it came in with a gig so I'm gonna have to come up with some memory for this thing but uh, I'm thinking that's what the problem was is this uh, memory card failed well I couldn't find any 512 meg of RAM sticks that I had laying around and I know they want this back before the new year and you won't see this video until after New Year's but uh, that's what's going on here so I looked through my box of RAM chips here and I was able to find a 1 gigger and so I'm just going to put the 1 gig in that's mine and uh, sell that one to them and I pulled out their 512 which is here and then this is the bad one that will be returning back so I'll credit them uh, for the 512 and then uh, just charge them for you know 512 of that plus the repair itself so it looks like problem solved um, if I right click on my computer everything seems real responsive there you have it there's one gig back in it and uh, everything seems fine I'm gonna go ahead and plug the internet back in here and take these downloads it looks like it needs to update itself and um, you know problem solved so here's the moral of this story I guess if your computer is um, throwing serious error crash reports when it first boots up or you're getting tones on boot up before BIOS or if you're just getting blue screens something to consider is hardware failure and not so much software and one way to do that is start with the memory and pull one module out at a time and check it by um, putting one in turning it on seeing how it reacts and then swapping it and also swapping the um, actual slots that you um, try the memory in I always prefer to run the slot that's closest to the motherboard or to the processor 
if I'm just running one chip because I think the bus is uh, a smaller distance. I might be wrong, but I just that's the way I've always done it. And then you know if there's um, an empty slot, just to leave it to the outside. So this machine seems fine. I'm going to go ahead and take the updates for the customer, and I am going to return this bad memory module to them and um, you know for less than a hundred bucks I think I can uh, go ahead and make this job for and and they'll be happy and get a couple more years life out of their machine so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something and um, so go for it. if your computer is having the same symptoms as this Dell Dimension 2400 go ahead and give it a shot thanks for watching don't forget to thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.